that one. The, the Jedi Hammer, new weapon in Battlefield Hardline. Uh, for those of you, you need to get uh, 1,012 kills with the Sledgehammer, and you will unlock yourself the Jedi Sledgehammer. Uh, true story, bro. And it actually kind of is, because there's a uh, Jedi reload animation on the AKM in this game. One in 10,000 chance of getting it, but there are some videos of YouTube above it. And, uh, you better get yourself reloading, I guess. I thought in this video, I'd uh, tell you a little bit about Battlefield Hardline. Uh, the open beta is, of course, available for anybody to try out, but I thought I'd show a bit of gameplay. I'm playing the Hot Wire game mode here, where everybody, uh, where all the flags are cars. And these guys, as we'll see in a second, have been breaking bad, unfortunately. I've got to interrogate this guy since I knocked him out. That reveals all the enemy players on the map to my team. As you can see, there's two guys in the house on the minimap. I'm going to go and uh, become friends with in a second. Once I've gone into their drug lab down here, they have got some pretty nice interiors to this. We'll just check this out. These guys are the danger. Down this, they've got themselves all Walter Whited up. But this is quite a cool little tunnel into the bottom of the house up here. And then I'm going to repel up the wall and try and take out these two snipers because you can bet your ass they've got themselves trip wired up and I saw one of them middle finger me across the map when he spotted me that's actually a thing in this you uh, if you're a, a robber and you see a cop the spotting animation is a middle finger look at these two guys they're all set up here with their barbecue where's their tent they were. Look at these two. Oh dear. I perhaps I want to show these because people are going to put them in a dodgy position like that. That one on the ground actually blows you up on those stairs. But I figured I'd just list the differences in this video between Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline. I'm going to show you all the game modes in this uh, that's currently available in the open beta if you haven't got a PC or something that uh, runs it yet. I guess the first thing is to start off with is uh, how the gunplay is. Um, that was a lot of his. But it's a little bit faster than Battlefield 4, I would say. I think the damage of the guns is higher, so most of the guns are either a 3 or 4 shot kill, and I think they're either a 4 or 5 close range in uh, Battlefield 4. So people do drop a lot faster. Um, there seems to be perhaps a little bit more recoil uh, than in Battlefield 4, but the spread of the guns is much less. So if you shoot at somebody, it, you can basically kill them pretty easily at most ranges, at least on PC. Um, because most of the recoil is vertically up on the vast majority of the guns and there's literally no recoil on these laser SMGs. Uh, so you can just take people down really quickly. There's a pretty big random flinch when you get shot, so it'll knock your aim up. Sometimes it'll knock your aim up and you'll get a headshot, which is great. Uh, other times it'll just knock your aim off like com in a completely random direction and because the other guy got a better flinch, he might win that gunfight because of it. So. I think it's the one thing, like, gameplay-wise, which I think is a little bit backwards from Battlefield 4. Because, I mean, the time to kill, some people will like that, some people won't like it. I mean, it's something you can sort of change and adapt to, I guess. Um, but with the flinch, because it's random, it's not something you can learn to control, even if you've played for ages and ages. Now, this map here is, of course, Downtown, which you've probably seen footage of before if you've been following the game, because this was in the closed alpha, 
uh, back in August. I'm just driving around here on a motorbike as a sniper. It's the hotwire game mode, so you've got to sort of capture these cars or blow them up and then drive around in them. The sniper class, by the way, has had a big, big improvement in this game. As you can see how close the hipfire crosshair is, so you can get some, some pretty easy hip fire shot some people it seems as effective as the assault class and such in this because this this sniper rifle here which is the first one you get in the game it's a one shot headshot any distance it literally fires as fast as the dmrs did like the semi-auto snipers did in battlefield 4 they are really really effective now i'm not entirely sure if that's a bad thing or a good thing it's not really up to me to to sort of say that because some people as i say uh will enjoy it but uh, you can definitely perform easier with this class than you could do in Battlefield 4. If you played the better you'll find the shotguns are really good as well. R really really effective uh, in this game. So on smaller maps such as uh, the bank map I'm going to show in a second. I don't know what I was doing here. I don't know why I attacked his car with a sledgehammer or why he didn't notice that but uh, <laughs> I'm glad the sledgehammer's in this. I do quite like these new game modes in this as well. Hot wire and, and heist. And blood money was good uh, back in the alpha. Because I almost exclusively played Conquest in Battlefield 4. And to be honest, since they didn't really do much with Rush until you know, only a couple of months ago, it was getting a little bit tedious playing the same game mode all the time. So that was a cracking backflip by that guy. <laughs> but these cars have got the weirdest driving mechanics. I don't like... It's not like full ice it's like somebody who doesn't know how to ice skate ice skating driving one of these it's, it's i think that they went for sort of an arcade feel but it's just it's uncarly it's got an uncarly feeling to it not half as much as the fuel truck does that thing is a driving coffin i kid you not the explosion on that when he gets hit is is like semi-nuclear it takes out just everybody within viewing distance of it is uh don't get in it. Don't get in it. Anyway, the heist map on bank. So we've kind of snuck in to the back of the bank here. I've got my very fancily painted Spaz 12, which even though it's a pump action, fires like a semi-auto. And uh, that guy's just shut that off so that uh, the cops can't get through there, you see. Which is quite clever. And then you only have to watch this side door. Because they, they always come through there. And we've basically, uh, in this heist game mode, got to break into the vault. And that's what we're waiting to, to get drilled here, as you can see around here. This is the vault which we are currently drilling into. But I'm going to go around and try and flank around the cops here. Uh, whilst I tell you a little bit about some of the things I'm disappointed with in this game. You see, gameplay wise, some people will definitely prefer Battlefield 4. Others will enjoy Hardline more. So, I didn't really want to focus on those, I just want to focus on things which are either laziness or just pure idiocy by the developers that they haven't got these things in this which have already been fixed months ago in Battlefield 4. And I'm not just talking about things like fake reloads, which do make a return in this, amazingly. Uh, that's where <laughs> this Levolution returns, and uh, even though destruction seems to be less in this than in the previous games. But as I was saying, fake reloads are back in, that's where it plays the reload animation, but it doesn't give you any more bullets. And we're blowing into the top of the vault here, because there's like three ways in. You can blow in the side walls, or you can go in through the main vault door. But it's just things like that which really should be fixed. And I think the one that annoyed me the most was they removed sensitivity settings from the beta. So you can't tweak your aim down sight sensitivity or use Universal Soldier aim in this. And they've removed the sensitivity settings from the document file on PC, which it must be more work to remove that stuff than, you know, so people have less control over what sensitivity they use than to keep it in. I just, it just seems the most stupid decision not to, I mean, if you're going to copy and paste the base of a game, which is what they've done with this from Battlefield 4, you might as well copy the things which actually allow people to enjoy the game, like tweaking their sensitivity. I cannot understand what goes through their minds sometimes, but as much as I think this is perhaps more of a demo than a beta, based on how the beta was for Battlefield 4, um, we shall have to see if those things do make a return in the full game, because I really hope that they do. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I shall see you in the next chapter. Come on!